What's up guys, today we're doing another Hand of Fate 2 video. Hopefully you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Mine was long. Sorry, I haven't been posting, obviously. Um, other than that, we're just going to jump right into it. A little bit of an update. I'm probably going to be playing a lot of single player games for the next week or two, just because of school and stuff, and everyone's trying to get back on routine. So, other than that, let's just jump right into it. I haven't played this in like two weeks, and I'm excited. I've been looking forward to this game. That, and uh, we've been playing a lot of World War II, so. Sorry we don't have any videos on that yet, but... Uh, if I remember right, we're on the Magician Part 2. Let's see. Let's go right. Can't go wrong going right. The general store. See, starting off strong. Shopkeeper nods as you enter Venture. How's the world out there? Let's see. We have 20 gold, which is not enough. Can we sell anything? Let's sell the axe, and I'll tell you why. I'm not a big two-handed weapon kind of person in video games. So, uh, I'm probably never going to use it. My equipment, let's see. No, these are good. I'm pretty sure that's what I just sold to. Alright, we're good. Leave. Let's see. Age turns us all. She has done rather better than I in the time that has passed. Uh, walking through a shady forest, you encounter a frail old maid, and she stops to greet you for centuries. I have helped the mortals, mortals, who find themselves lost in my forest. Is there anything that may help you with your journey? Ooh, ask for more life, ask for supplies, ask for gold. Oh, probably supplies. We only have four supplies. This should sustain you for a few days, she said, squinting at you with tired eyes. I hope I don't regret that, but we need food real bad. I feel like I lost a lot of food, and I don't remember why. In your life, you will have wandered endless intersections, yet this one sticks with you. Why? What is it in your memory that catches here? What, what the fuck does that mean? Okay, you arrive at a signpost detailing the... Uh, possible path east and west. Oh, we have a split decision here. Can I do this? They got Capture themselves them? into yeah. this mess. I don't see why you should get them out. Pay to free them? Fight to free them! Ready your weapon! Are you kidding? Who pays? I didn't play this game to fucking sit here and... Yeah, actually I kind of did. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, easy. Now let's see if I remember the buttons. <laughs> okay, Raider. From the frozen darkness of the north, they come. Northerners can perform a combo. A combo attack shit. Uh, Single-handed weapons deal. Okay. Oh, don't oh. let them hit me. I'm too handsome for my... I don't remember the buttons. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I do. Never mind. No, I don't. You're nothing! Nailed it. Yeah, random button mashing! Took a little more damage than I would like, but you know what? We freed some soldiers, so we're good. And my max life went up. Okay. I can't complain. The Northerner's dead, you free the soldiers. We got two recruits. Always treat those who feed you with respect. Even I stand by this rule, and I have respect for few. Amen to that. Uh, you chance upon a wooden cart overflowing with pears, pies, and many items otherwise. A wonderful smell wafts from the cart. Uh, our friend shakes his head. Poor old Chester. This is why you should never be seduced by the wiles of women. Coin slave. They'll break your heart and leave you selling... Your lemon tarts with little business sense. Uh, I'm trying to. Oh, okay. So basically, the guy who owns the car got divorced or something. Wife left him, and took all of his stuff, and now he's stuck. Okay. The old farmer hawks his wares to past buyers, tarts, pies, and exotic lies. Uh. Chester, nods gallantly as you approach. What would you like to buy on this terrible, dreary morning? Oh, let's see. Exotic lies. Uh, she was so beautifully whispered as he passes you a bag of sparkle purple fruits. Oh, I didn't get a choice. Okay. 
Uh, Chester stares in a kind and wistful gloom at the exotic foods for a while before he finally decides on a price. I don't want these anymore. That's so much money. I don't have 30. Decline purchase. Shit. Okay. Chester seems strangely affronted at this. Uh, he takes the fruit from your hands and coldly asks you to leave. I couldn't afford it. I only have 29. He asked for 30. What do you want me to do? Pull a penny out of my ass? Your companion has his own story to tell. We must wonder if this is a tale of a hero or a villain. Well, considering this guy's fucked me twice already. Uh, you arrive at the city markets to meet with our friend's associate. You find him sitting on a blanket by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an animate pile of greasy rags. A few wilted disease, uh, daisies and buckwheat tied with a rope are flopped on the ground around him. Merrick, Michael, our friend, calls to the creature, arms outstretched. I have a favor to ask of you, my handsome friend. The greasy goblin raises a hand to stop the barb's prattle. Ten gold first, you know that. I feel like this is important. Uh, our friend Mike uh, steps forward as Merc counts the coins. Merkle, being the bard, looks furtively around before quickly waving at his shoulder. I require him to. I require. I just added a word there. I require help in removing a certain illness. Ooh. Merc considers our friend for a while. That kind of information costs more than a few. You splutter in whatever. I require a test of skill from him. He turns and points at you. Okay, easy. Pick a flower, eat it. The greasy floors displays his meager wares. Nods as if it were a f Oh, okay. Um, I don't know what any of this means. Eat a daisy, eat a forget-me-not, eat the luminous purple flower. I feel like the luminous is not a good idea. I feel like the daisy is just a regular daisy. And the forget-me-not feels like it has some serious side effects. Let's go... Uh, luminous flower. The flower has a crisp, burnt texture. Target 15! Oh. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned to be their master. <laughs> Come on, big bucks. No whammies. Oh! Thank God the for RNG. sets the tone for your challenge. Okay. Merrick watches eagerly as you begin to choke. My lift is for his part shows some sign of concern. Uh, your eyes bulge in water. Suddenly, someone begins slapping you hard on the back. You cough and lump falls out of your mouth. It's a silver, solid gold statue of Merc. That's a sick power. But we got 15 coins out of that. My lift is cheers while you catch your breath. All that just for a statue and 15 coins? Merc nods happily with his results. He beckons my lift this closer. Uh, of those of us left, you should seek Ira of the Veil. She may know something of the cure. Last I heard, she's hiding out in the underneath. Perfect. Nicely and we got done. a coin. Forget what the coins do, but... Oh, no, not her. Michael Lewis uh, strains his neck shawl nervously. The greasy goblin man giggles maniacally. Yes, her. She'll likely eat your bones before she lets you speak. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to run. Uh, with that, our friend is... A friend's associate turns away and hurls a briquette at a shocked pass a little bit shocked passer buyer. Flowers, fresh flowers, buy them or I'll eat your eyes. Fair. Do what you can to find more food. Yeah, hundred percent we do need more food. Atop Westwind Town Hall is a larger bell tower is used to signal the day's end of the work in the mines and surrounding fields. But now it will summon Westwind's defenders. Do you wish to summon the soldiers you have recruited? Search for more recruits real fast. Okay, you retreat in the Vale of Westwind to search for more recruits. Let's just see real fast because right, I can't do anything. I'm pretty sure the only recruit that I have was... Yeah, so I guess we have to go for it. Last now stand. Now your chance presents itself. Yeah. At last, stand in the defense of the peasantry. Let's go. What noble traits you display already. Damn right. As Night Cloak Westland, Westwind, you can sense... Wait. Whoa. As Night Cloaks Westland, you can sense the corruption raising, rising from the shadows all around you. You survey any soldiers you've managed to recruit. Okay. It's an all-out fucking war. Let's go. You have gathered a large group of soldiers to defend the town. Here's hoping you won't need any more. So if you remember, we were going to this town so that we could help them out. I don't remember why, but we're going for it. 
So it looks like a boss battle and seven guys. So let's go. Uh, you must survive till morning when Imperial reinforcements will arise. Give a rousing speech. Let's go. Okay, fuck. That sucks. I didn't think it was going to be an... <sighs> Fucking shit! I was going to go with the second one! Oh, why did I second guess myself? The soldier appeared unmoved by your words and remained tense and fearful. Yeah! Okay, either way. Gotta be honest, I don't even need the soldiers, so we're just gonna, you know, we're gonna do it ourselves. Okay, shit. The Terror of Westwind. As the final vestiges of humanity are erased, the Terror wakes. Use Bash to break the Terror Corrupted and defeat it with a finisher before it regenerates. Okay, so we'll have to finish him last. Oh, oh, it's these guys. Oh, that's easy as fuck. Boom. Oh, now we play. Oh, no, there's still one more. Boom! Get out of there! Mouse button four! Oh! Get, get wrecked. Am I about to do this with, if I do this with no actual like, without getting hit, I'll be impressed with myself. Woo. Oh, I did that without getting hit. Guys, I might be the best Hand of Fate 2 player of all time. I'm not saying I am, I'm just saying I might be. A mighty creature of chaos felled by your power. I know, Does it, it satisfy you, this bloodshed? Knowing those you destroy were once simple peasants going about their day. Yes. Once the corrupted behemoth falls, the rest of the minions flee, their spirits broken. The soldiers erupt in cheers, praising your valor. You can rest until morning, ready to greet the reinforcements with a, with a town already saved. Yes. The magician. We did it. The magician returns to the deck. But now we only begin our stories of fate, folly, and magic. Do not think I am satisfied with this, but at least we have a place to begin. Okay. What do we get? Now you have learned the simplest of ways to build your deck. Yeah. Each challenge will provide its own unique trials. Here are some more tools to keep you in good stead. Thank you. Let's see. Winter's Blade, Valiant, Aegis, and Ruby Ring. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. So these are all the things that we can use in the next map, I think. Next game. Okay. Open. What do we get from this one? For convincing Mark to help Megalyptics, the underneath. Okay, cool. Reveal. Sweet. As you play, you will find more options open to you. Should you find yourself blocked or overly challenged, take the time to explore the board. Unlocking cards will give you options you have not yet considered. I see, I don't really understand the whole card thing yet. I'll figure it out eventually, but um, good job. I mean, yeah. So, finish the magician. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully, the next video we will tackle. I'll probably just do them in order. Probably the, tackle the High Priestess, the first part at least. Other than that, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, on behalf of all of us, I just want to say a quick thank you for watching this video. It means a lot to all of us, especially me. If you guys are interested in the game, as always, I'll put the link in the description for you guys to try it out. If you guys enjoy the content that I make on this channel, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, that subscription button, and leave a comment because I always love hearing what you guys have to say. Other than that, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.